Okay, this is for the endocrinology and reproductive uh, exam. Here's the review. Uh, make sure you know what uh, endocrinology is, very basic. And also make sure you're familiar with um, the different types of hormones. I would know what bioogenic amines are, what steroid hormones are, what eicosanoids are. So if I were to give you an example and say uh, cortisone, testosterone, and estrogen, uh, these are what type of hormones you could uh, let me know. Don't confuse thalamus with hypothalamus in terms of function. I know all the functions of the hypothalamus. Make sure you're familiar with the HPA and HPT axis, hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis, hypothalamus pituitary thyroid axis. I would know what TRH hormone does, thyroid releasing hormone, what it makes the pituitary release. I would know what gonadotropin releasing hormone causes the pituitary to release. I would also know the difference between neurohypophysis and adenohypophysis. I would know after TSH hits the thyroid what is produced. Remember, it goes T4 to T3. That conversion takes place in the liver, and we need selenium. You need healthy gallbladder. You need good unsaturated fats on the receptor on the thyroid. I would know about the adrenal gland. I would know about the adrenal cortex and the adrenal medulla and what's produced there. I'd know what the glucocorticoids are. I'd know what mineral corticoids are. And I would know what the catecholamines are. I would know about prolactin. I would know about luteinizing hormone, what its function is in both male and female. Make sure you're familiar with that pathway of phenylalanine to tyrosine to dopamine to norepinephrine and epinephrine. I would know the importance of tyrosine. I would know what oxytocin's function is. What I drew here on the board about the nephron, where do these hormones work, where does ADH work, calcitonin, and loop diuretics. The different causes of hypothyroidism. And if you go just by your PowerPoint, you're not going to get it. Make sure you get all the things I talked about on the board, all the things that can create thyroid issues. What are the other organs that are involved that we need to function properly? We also spoke about antihistamine, so please review that. Um, I would know what a goiter is. I would know about Hashimoto's, diabetes mellitus, and the three cardinal signs. I would know how calcitonin works and PTH and what their functions are. I would know the causes of osteoporosis as discussed in class. Hopefully you took good notes because I spoke quite a bit on it. Some of it is not in the PowerPoints. It's off the handwritten notes. <clears throat> Pancreas function, we know it's a mixed gland. It's endocrine and endocrine. I know about the alpha cells, beta cells, delta cells, and F cells. I know their functions. Make sure you know the functions of the kidney and what they produce, what hormones are produced there. And their functions, not just their hormones, but what are their functions. Make sure you know the RAS system, the renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system. Please be comfortable with that. I would know what progesterone does. I would know the catecholamines, norepinephrine and epinephrine, and how they relate to uh, sympathetic or parasympathetic function. Don't confuse the pituitary gland with the pineal gland.
I would also be familiar with um, the eicosanoids, no uh, prostaglandins and leukotrienes, what their differences are. Prostaglandins and leukotrienes. I know about the difference between smooth muscle, cardiac muscle, and skeletal muscle. When we talk about the uterus, I'd know what type of uh, muscle the uterus is. I'd know the three layers, endo, epi, I'm sorry, the endo, myo, and perimetrium. We focused a lot on the myometrium, and we focused a lot on the endometrium. We know what hormones act on the myometrium. We know why the endometrium is so important. I know where fertilization takes place and where implantation takes place. I know what endometriosis is and ectopic pregnancy. I know what hormones are involved with ovulation. I would know estrogen's function for the female. I'd know the function of the placenta, what there is an exchange of between the mother and baby and what there is not an exchange of. I would go over the uh, erectile tissue of the penis and what's involved. I would know why the testes are housed in the scrotum. I would know the functions of the seminiferous tubules, the epididymis, and the vas deferens. I'd know the functions of the prostate gland and the bulbourethral gland. And we know we spoke about the prostate and antimicrobial factor and the importance of the mineral zinc there. And we also spoke briefly about uh, breast cancer and some of the causes of breast cancer. So there are 50 questions. Those are the concepts that are going to be on this exam. They're all multiple choice or true and false. There's nothing here designed to trick you. Everything that's on there was covered in class, and you'll find it in this review. Okay?